you are welcome to yet another episode of LFN What's Your Say? The leading listening show where we discuss important issues with important people like you. We are still featuring R. Kelly. Real name Robert Sylvester Kelly. Also known as the R&B King. During the Chicago appeal process, an appellate judge warned R. Kelly that pursuing a retrial could lead to a harsher outcome. A consecutive sentence with that in New York that could keep him in prison for the rest of his life. So, theoretically, if it's remanded for resentencing because of an error and the court gives a guideline sentence, which is what you're, you seem to be arguing the court should have given, that entire guideline sentence could be consecutive or half of it or more than a year, which would put your client in a worse position. So does your client realize that? Certainly could. If it's sent back for resentencing, the judge could start over and look at at everything. So uh, to say it would be retaliatory, there's no grounds for that or no case law that would support giving a higher sentence or a sentence that would have a more significant consequence. This warning raises important questions about the appeals process in high-profile cases. Is the legal system discouraging these appeals by threatening harsher punishments? Appeals are such an important cornerstone of justice designed to ensure fair trials and proper application of the law. Yet this warning implies that R. Kelly had to weigh the risk of challenging his convictions against the possibility of an even worse outcome. This kind of judicial caution can be seen as a tactic to dissuade defendants from seeking justice by appeal, a concerning precedent for anyone accused of a crime famous or not. Warnings like the one issued by this appellate judge to R. Kelly expose a troubling dynamic in the appeals process, one that raises questions about the accessibility to and fairness of justice. Appeals exist to provide a safety net against errors made during the trial process. In fact they are a fundamental aspect of the legal system meant to ensure that convictions are both just and procedurally sound. However, when a defendant is cautioned that pursuing an appeal could result in a harsher outcome such as consecutive sentences, it introduces a new layer of pressure. Instead of focusing solely on the merits of their case or potential legal missteps by the government, defendants must now weigh the risk of their punishment culminating into a potentially life-altering penalty. And undoubtedly this creates an ethical dilemma. Is the legal system genuinely upholding justice, or is it prioritizing a quick process over fairness? In R. Kelly's case, this warning effectively places him in a precarious position, forcing him to gamble with his future if he believes errors occurred during his trial. For a defendant facing multiple convictions and a polarized media opinion, such a gamble can feel insurmountable. More broadly, this type of judicial caution can set a dangerous precedent. If defendants become afraid of appealing their cases due to the threat of harsher sentences, it greatly undermines the purpose of the appellate process, justice should never come with strings attached. Furthermore, this tactic disproportionately affects high-profile individuals like R. Kelly whose cases are already under immense public scrutiny. Media coverage and societal pressure alone can amplify the stakes, making it even harder to navigate the judicial system objectively. Adding judicial threats and warnings to this could completely deter defendants from appealing their cases even when they are wrongfully convicted. However, the implications stretch far beyond celebrities. What happens in R. Kelly's case can easily ripple through the system, potentially impacting anyone who seeks an appeal regardless of their fame or anonymity. At its core, this situation poses a rather profound question. Are we as a society prioritizing the experience of convictions over the fundamental principles of justice? The right to a fair trial and a fair appeal is not just a legal technicality but a cornerstone of democracy. Securing a guilty verdict and subsequent conviction should not be considered a score by the justice system but fairness in both ways is. Ensuring that all individuals regardless of their status or the charges they face have unfettered access to this right to a fair trial is essential for maintaining trust in the justice system. Imagine the judge cautioning that pursuing a retrial could result in a harsher sentencing outcome forgetting that the original purpose of the appeal process is for the defendant to remedy the legal situation at hand. By law and principle therefore, a defendant's sentence should not be deliberately worsened only because they chose to appeal the trial court decision. 
and this warning is significant not only for R. Kelly, but also for the broader conversation about the fairness of the justice system and how it treats appeals in general. At its core, the right to appeal is important for the justice system. It exists to safeguard individuals against errors made by the judicial officers during trial proceedings, to ensure proper application of the law, and to uphold the principle of fairness. However when exercising that right comes with the threat of harsher punishment, we must pause and question whether the system is functioning as intended. When defendants are warned that seeking justice through an appeal could backfire catastrophically, the very purpose of appeals is called into question. Appeals are not supposed to be a gamble where the stakes include an even greater loss of freedom or harsher penalties. Instead, they are designed to ensure that everyone, regardless of their background or the nature of the charges has access to a second chance at fairness, especially when there is reason to believe that a trial may have been flawed. In R. Kelly's case the warning from the appellate judge carries heavy implications. It suggests that by fighting for what he perceives as justice, he risked being punished further effectively deterring him from seeking a retrial. This tactic can easily be interpreted as an attempt to dissuade defendants from challenging the system. But justice is not a negotiation or a game of intimidation. A fair appeals process should encourage the pursuit of truth, not to penalize individuals for seeking it. If defendants feel pressured to accept their initial convictions even when they may have valid grounds to appeal, then the integrity of the justice system is undermined. And again while this issue has surfaced in the context of a high-profile case involving R. Kelly, the implications stretch far beyond his circumstances. What happens here could set a dangerous precedent for anyone seeking an appeal and regardless of their fame or social status, they could be threatened not to put up a defense. This may see the justice system register even more wrongful confessions by innocent suspects. Normalizing these threats could create a chilling effect on defendants everywhere. People accused of crimes, particularly those who lack the financial resources or public platforms to fight back may feel forced to forego appeals out of fear of such harsher punishments. This is especially concerning in cases where the initial trial may have been influenced by external factors such as biased juries, ineffective legal representation or sensational media coverage like we saw with R. Kelly's case. For many defendants, appeals are the only opportunity to correct such injustices. Without the ability to freely exercise that right, the door to fairness is effectively slammed shut. Ultimately, justice must be rooted in fairness, not fear. Whether a defendant is a global celebrity or an ordinary citizen, they deserve the right to challenge their convictions without the looming threat of disproportionate consequences. If we lose sight of this principle, the entire foundation of the justice system is at risk. If you wish to take part in a live interview discussing any of these topics, let us know by sending an email to sashalfnmedia at gmail.com for scheduling. Thank you for watching today's video, a production of LFN Media, giving you another perspective of issues at hand. We make it our business to keep you updated with the truth amidst the cloud of lies the media wants you to believe. It is therefore important to subscribe to this channel, hit the bell icon and allow all notifications so that you don't miss out whenever we publish a new video.